What's up guys welcome back to another video from past few days people have been asking videos about google camera on non pixel devices so i've been using a particular google camera application which i'll show you guys in this video and we'll also share few samples which i've clicked with that google camera application and guys i'm not comparing the camera quality because my oneplus 9 is running on beta version of android 12 so camera application is not that optimized but still you'll be able to see some great results using this particular port of google camera application so first talking about the installation of this application it's a simple apk file just download it from the description below and install it manually so let me show you that apk here you can see that apk the file size is 134 mb just tapping on it and normally you'll get the option to install i have already installed it as you can see here and guys on pixel devices including pixel 6 series we have this version of camera application but don't expect pixel 6 features would work on your device there is a feature called eraser that can be used and that also is not up to mark but you can give it a try it's kind of fun playing around with that tool So this is the Google camera version which I'm running on my device and that's 8.3. So on this camera application you get almost everything working including front portrait, back portrait, video recording with slow motion, time lapse, etc. And I'll also provide you the Telegram group from where you can download the different configurations and keep in track on the updated version of Google camera application. By the way this application is not specific for any device. You can try it on your device. If it works out then good. If not there are other Google camera modes available online. But as we have OnePlus audience, so I'll be doing a dedicated video for every OnePlus devices in upcoming days. And I also won't recommend you guys to play around with the configuration. Though you can try it out, but make sure you remember the configurations under which you have made changes. And also guys, there are possibilities that you won't get all the camera working fine on your device. Like on my OnePlus device, I don't have an option to use the ultra wide angle or ultra wide camera here i'm only able to use two lenses though i'll try out different configuration from other developers too we have all the functions working fine like night sight under this astrophotography also works great i'll show you some samples then we have portrait mode and that also does a great job using both the cameras front and back under videography we have both the options slow motion and time lapse and there are no issues recording videos with both the modes I also shot some video clips and no issues found with the video stabilization feature of Google camera. And currently for video recording we don't get the option to record videos in 60 fps. So I think both with full HD and 4K videos are only being recorded at 30 fps. Also if you guys have been using Google camera applications then you can make some changes in the developer settings and get better results with more features by making some tweaks in the developer settings. So if you guys are running Android 12 on your OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro You guys can try out Google Camera version 8.3 though there are other Google Camera ports which are quite stable enough and will also have more functionalities. 8.3 is the latest one so it might take some time for more add-ons and configurations. But on this particular build we have a feature called eraser and I do like that feature. Though it's not that stable but still you can play around with it. Swiping towards the right hand side will give you an option of more and on this again you'll have an option of edit scroll towards the right hand side and here we have an option called eraser from here you can also change the size of the eraser and if you want to remove something from the background you can give it a try so as you can see here we have a small plant behind my dog let's try to remove this from the background by selecting on it and there you can see though the results are not that great but yes If you want to remove some small particles or small objects from the background, you can try out this feature. And this feature we have seen on Google Pixel 6 series, but when it comes to picture quality, this camera application also does a great job. Now let me show you some of the samples clicked using Google camera application with that of OnePlus 9 stock camera application. So here you can take a look at the pictures which are clicked using both the cameras. Towards the left hand side, you can see the trademark of Hasselblad. and the photos which we have towards the right hand side those are clicked with google camera application and you can clearly see the difference in the contrast and colors in the pictures google camera version 8.3 is producing more colors with better details though photos clicked with oneplus stock camera are a bit dull and the edge detections on the photos are also not that great you can take a look at this particular picture and clearly see the difference between the colors of both the camera applications google camera producing natural colors but the picture which we have clicked using oneplus camera 
in that picture seems to be overexposed. And these are the portrait photos clicked using the front camera. Here also you can clearly see the difference in both the pictures. On OnePlus camera, I had also turned off all the filters, but still skin tone seems to be a bit smoother on photo clicked with OnePlus camera. But here, Google camera seems to be doing a good job with accurate colors and more details. And the edge detection along with bokeh effect was also good on Google camera application. And these are some of the photos which I clicked in low light. And here you can clearly see a major difference between the photos clicked using OnePlus stock camera application with that of Google camera application. There's a huge difference between the picture quality and the details present in every photo. Though both the camera applications does a good job in reducing the noise, but photo seems to be brighter with more details on Google camera application. So guys, these were some of the pictures which I clicked with OnePlus stock camera application and Google camera application version 8.3. And as I said, this application can be used on any Android device. So give it a try to this application and let me know in the comment section below whether it works on your device or not. So guys, this was a quick look on the Google camera application version 8.3. If you guys want me to do more videos on Google cameras, let me know in the comment section below along with your device name. So guys, as of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.